Hi, this is Sandra, and in this video, I want to show you how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server database from NetBeans and how to install the driver using Maven, so the database driver that's needed. I've typed up some code here already. I'll just very quickly just explain here what's going on. I have a member variable here for a connection and make sure that that's an SQL connection class. And my URL string, so that connects to well, the first part is for the driver, the JDBC SQL driver. The second part of that, of the driver there, that's the name of my SQL server. Then which database I'm going to connect to and the type of security that it uses. Integrated security means it's using the same username and password that I've logged onto this machine to log into SQL server. So I have a try catch block in case something should go wrong. And trust me, I think it always does when you start off on this. So my connection there, my member variable, to get that connection, I'm using a driver manager class in the Java API. It has a get connection method and I pass in that URL string so it knows which driver it's using, which database it's going to connect to and which server that it's going to connect to. And all going well, I will get a printout of the connection established if line 17 works successfully. I have a main method in this class and what I'm doing is I'm creating an instance of this learner DAO class. So I have my connection code there in the constructor. So the main will instantiate the class by calling the constructor and that's where the code will attempt to execute. Now, right now I haven't included the drivers. So this won't work. I'm just going to right click here on the class on the left hand side and run file. Now that might take a little bit of time there to work. Oh, it was quick. Now, you can see here, could not connect to the database. And because I have on line 23, e.printStackTrace, this is where I get this printout here. So it's saying there, no suitable driver found. So what I need to do, now I'm connecting for basically from Java, so from an Oracle language to Microsoft's uh, SQL Server. So that's just my choice. You might be connecting to a di different database. Now I'm using Maven here. so. NetBeans uses Maven to include any what's called dependencies. So like the driver that I need to use has been, Maven is going to use that. Maven is going to have that information. Now in the project files here, we'll see there's a pom.xml. So that's an XML file. And in here, I need to include, you know, a dependency to say that it's going to use the, the Microsoft SQL Server driver. And see dependencies here in my project window. There's nothing there at the minute. Now, I need to go to the internet and I'm on the mvnrepository.com. So Maven's repository site. So this is where I'll specify the driver that Maven is going to use, it's going to find to, to use with my project. I'll pop the link for that underneath the video. Now in here, so I'm using the Microsoft JDB, JDBC driver for SQL Server. I click on that. Here are the, the latest drivers and you can, I've tested the three of these. They all work okay. So just using the top one there. And down here, you can see that this is the dependency, the XML code that's needed to go into the pom.xml file for Maven. So if I click on that, it automatically copies it to the clipboard for me. So back into my pom.xml file. Now I need to type in an extra tag here. It's going to be dependencies. If you have a start tag, there has to be a matching closing tag. So there we have it. I'll just highlight that. Now in the middle of that, I'm going to paste in what I copied from that mvmrepository.com site and tab it over so that it looks pretty. All on for things looking pretty. Now there we go. And now I'm just going to hit save on that. See, it popped in there. It popped in that dependency. Now, you might get a little arrow on it that says it's not, um, hasn't been downloaded, but it will download it when you hit run. So I'm going back to my learner DAO class. I'm going to right click on that class here on the left and choose run, run file. So that will execute the main method that's here which in turn executes the constructor and my database connection code. And I can see there now that that has connection established. So that has successfully connected to my Microsoft SQL database using the driver that is specified in the pom.xml file. 